lost off. Yo. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to our show. We take there over we the world. You have to smash no, drums. <laughs> okay, let me take that thing off of you. <laughs> For it. And yeah, alright everyone, and welcome uh, to Showcase Sunday number 120. Uh, yeah, I'll be your Captain Helian today, along with. Be so mighty Lieutenant Rakir at your service. And? And, and Gunnery Mate Rom. <laughs> and yeah, for people new. Okay, so I, I just look over and I I think I'm pretty sure I recognize those arcade cabinets they just were miming there. Though the game it's actually on eludes me. Uh, hey, yeah. I'm age, sixty years, <laughs> bloody heck. Uh, but yeah, with Showcase Sunday we take a few games. Typically four. Lately it's been more like six or five each time. Gives them about half an hour to see if they're any good for streaming at some point in the future. Um. Yeah, if games are very clearly going to be a big no, we will of course skip them earlier. Yeah, really, Amazon Prime. Uh, Anyways, our first game, very obviously, is well, it's not Two Point Campus, it's Two Point Hospital. This is the quote unquote sequel. And yeah, this game, speaking of sequel, this game is basically a spiritual successor to the old theme hospital game. So. Let's make a new save. I. Oop. At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. Gotta love that something explodes in the background. <laughs> but yeah, this is very obviously a bit of a goofy game. And honestly, the character style reminds me a bit of Wallace and Gromit. <clears throat> it seems possible did as well, and I feel we didn't out actually hear this game have voice acting. So I have played the demo of old Team Hospital. <laughs> I kid. get the feeling we've showcased this game before. But that would have been on in you know, a much earlier state. So I'm not sure if they has that voice acting then, though the game is five years old. We've been streaming for almost three years, so mm, yeah, I might be wrong. Tried to stream Team Hospital, and it just didn't um, work. Yeah, we did try Team Hospital uh, uh, at one point. I'm pretty sure of that, uh, though the controls weren't really cooperating because yeah, it's an old ass game. So yeah, I, I might just be mixing the two together with my shoddy memory. But yeah, let's get started. Hey, it's Hogsport. So I begin your career as a hospital administrator, learn the basics. Okay, welcome to Two Point County. Are you ready to start building your first hospital and cure some patients? Okay, first things first, you probably want to look around. WASD, zoom uh, with the mouse wheel, pitch with the mouse. Yeah. Uh, basic tutorial stuff. Okay, first thing the hospital will need is a reception. Patients will head there when they arrive at the hospital. Let's build a reception desk near the entrance. For that, we go to items here. Reception. We can turn things around with X and Z. I did a little play test of this. I didn't finish this level or anything. Uh, let's see, I probably want to, I a bit of distance. Yeah, a little bit more. Okay, great. We'll need an assistant to run reception. Let's hire one now. Over at the hire, assistants. Uh, let's see. We've got people with perks. And what's... Let's see. <clears throat> Recruitment fee is over here. Not sure what this number over here is. Maybe they're quote-unquote value. Overall, I think that's, that's overall like a paycheck for like either a month or a year. Could yeah. be. Hmm. Let's hire someone good, at least, then. 
and yeah, they'll get to work at reception. Great, before we officially open, we need a GP's office. Patients will visit a doctor working as a general practitioner at each stage of diagnosis. The GP will assess patients and decide if they are ready for treatment or to require for the diagnosis. To build a room, click on the room button, pick one from the list, yada yada yada, there. Okay, minimum size 3x3, three three, place a door off a desk filing cabinet, then click the green tick. Now apparently if you make these bigger than required, it'll make it'll add some prestige or something. I don't fully know what that means. But what I do know is that with this you will want uh, <laughs> you will want something competent. <laughs> okay. There we go. Excellent. Now we need a doctor to run the GP's office. Hire one now. Oh, come on. What? I spotted a pun. Where? Doctor Room. <laughs> really? Uh, let's uh, see. Treatment. Yep. GP practice. Yeah, we want someone who is a decent general practitioner because, well, if they make a misdiagnosis, then everything past that is going to go wrong. Yeah. Good news, our hospital is now open for business. Patients are starting to arrive. After they register at regis uh, reception, they'll be sent to the GP for diagnosis. Okay. We can get some more items here. Zoom in and rotate with the mouse. Hold the middle mouse. Yeah. Let's see. Let's keep an eye on our first patient as they head for diagnosis with the GP. We can put up some stuff around here to, well, make things a bit e a bit easier on our people or people visiting, like places to sit, food, drinks, of course, bins for them to dump their crap into, oh. extinguishers, of course, because sooner or later something is catching fire. Really. <laughs> Sonic posters, Sonic trees, Sonic ring. <laughs> yeah, they added oh a bunch God. of stuff in here from uh, Sega, of course, because it's a Sega game. Please be aware, not being aware costs lives. <laughs> That's actually a good bit. <laughs> We've diagnosed our first patient. Yeah. The GP has sent you a message. Have a look at the message list at the bottom right. Uh, we looks like we'll need to build a pharmacy to treat the patient. Okay. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, grout. Grout is frequently transmitted in bathtubs and modern medication is effective, unlike earlier times when it had to be dug out painfully with a screwdriver. The patient is seeking treatment. We will need a pharmacy in order to treat them. It will cost about that to build. Uh, let's get them to wait. They won't um, wait forever, of course. I hope this we... screwdriver part was a joke. Probably. Probably want to put in some distance. And you might want to undo that one. Yep, we're going to need a yeah. bit more room than just that. Uh, I should have clarified. People did one, die two, out three, from gout in four. the past. Yes, that is true. And I had many, they tried many treatments for it, but I don't think screwdrivers were ever one of them. Yeah. Okay, now we need to. Yep. Yeah, hire a nurse to run it so let's go here uh, you're the best we can get at the moment so in you go okay put some comfort stuff outside okay there oh we have someone in chat um yep. we do remember it we have streamed that game uh, uh it's mick yep, vita uh, let's see. I it's that right. let's see, to tell you, yeah, that that's actually one of my favorite games ever. And yes, I have streamed it. Uh, I think I've even made a let's play of it at one point. But yeah, welcome to the show. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. I I know that there was an HD version of Beyond Good and Evil made, but it was only for like the Xbox 360 or so. So that was a complete and utter missed opportunity that they made there. And yeah, Beyond Good and Evil 2 is still stuck in developer hell, of which I am I'm remaining hopeful, I'll say that, but I'm not holding out for it being like game of the century or such. But yeah, how are you doing otherwise? Uh, it's Mickey if I may call you that. Yeah, I, I'm with Hillian there for... It has been going up and down and up and down. But we are hopeful for the game. 
it's gonna come out. I, I'm getting more and more skeptical over the company who has the right over it. Yeah, Ubisoft and their latest bullshit with Skull and Bones, for example. Let's see. Well done. You've cured, cured our first patient. Uh, we've earned some money and the hospital's reputation has improved, which will attract more patients. When a doctor or nurse treats a patient, their ability will influence the chance of success. Some illnesses are tougher than others. Continue diagnosing and treating patients to keep the money coming in so we can expand the hospital. Let's uh, improve reputation. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. I think we'll probably... Oh, janitors and maintenance. Now that we've got some expensive machinery, we should think about looking after it. Machines will deteriorate with use and will need repairing from time to time. If machine fills, you know, falls into disrepair, it will it can, bleh, it can be a fire hazard. Fires are generally considered them bad for business. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's Mick. Yes, I know that the, stream, uh, the game was streamed on here, because when you streamed it, I followed. Okay. <laughs> All right. Do you guys know the crew also? I know the game. I know that it's also going, or it's died recently, or it's going to die soon because they're going to take the servers down. <laughs> Welcome back then, it's Mick. Yeah, now I look at the stream chats of the OBS, it doesn't say first time chat. <laughs> Welcome back, been a while. <laughs> yeah, welcome back. Yeah, that has been a while. Okay, let's get someone who is decent at maintaining, well, machinery. Uh, two extinguishers. Let's put one here. And another one. Let's just put side by side. Totally not uh, suspicious. <laughs> Okay, we can put down some plants. It's important to keep your staff and patients happy to ensure the hospital runs smoothly. Patients will get bored, thirsty, and hungry over time. Make sure they have access to entertainment, food, drinks, and a comfy seat when they air between appointments. If they become unhappy, they will leave to go to another hospital. Yep. Let's see, item controls, reputation. Let's see, 31st of March. Yeah, a little while, yeah, almost, almost a year. <laughs> okay, uh, leaflet stand. I wouldn't really call these things entertainment, but they, they'd be a distraction at least. And there. And there. Probably not the best way to go about this, but oh well. We're just showcasing the game. And yeah, if we want to move something, we just click, click that. Okay. Hmm. Staff energy and breaks. Staff get tired as they work and we will eventually go on a break. A staff room will help them relax and return to work energized. Drinks and snacks also keep them happy too. If you make a room larger and then fill it with interesting items, it will be considered more prestigious. People using a high prestige room will become happier. A nice staff room will also help staff regain energy faster. Okay. Let's see. Uh, but the 31st of March, the crew stops. Okay. So yeah, it is, well, going to die, which a certain YouTuber who also does a good comedy show has been very vocal about what they think about stuff like that. I don't think you want to trap that patient into the... Enjoy I think that's a janitor. As much as you can. Yeah. May as well go big with it, since... This shouldn't last too long anyways. Some lockers, some armchairs. Okay. Welcome back to your favorite radio station. Yeah, you might as well just put this front and center. Sir Nigel Bickleworth. I'm here to inform, to entertain, and to bring some small measure of sophistication to your drab little lives. Should any of you have any requests for popular tunes, as I believe people like to call them, do not hesitate to repress that impulse. I have no intention of playing any of that drivel. Okay, that, that sounded like a more posh Nigel Thornberry. <laughs> yeah. Let's yeah. see. Staff will head to a staff room when they're on break, fill the room with interesting items to help them become fully refreshed before their break ends. Note you can place a member of staff in a staff room to make them take a break, or in a workroom to make them work there. 
Okay, just hover over and click. So yeah, we'll need some more staff because yeah, we'll, <laughs> we still want to keep things running when people are on break. Charlie work. Drinks and snacks are great for keeping people happy, but they can lead to littering if there are no bins nearby. While we're at it, staff and patients will get grumpy if they don't have access to any toilets. You might want to invest in some quality porcelain. <laughs> Janitors will help maintain all of these, restocking vending machines, sweeping up litter, emptying bins and unblocking toilets. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, Thornberry. <laughs> okay, you never heard of my Nigel Thornberry before? I'm unsure if I have. <laughs> it's the man with the massive snaz, <laughs> whose nose is almost as big as his hand. Oh, yeah, right, his him. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, look, I remember more the... Uh, how to say it? The one I used to spit might be related to a list. Well, <laughs> and a hand dryer. Maybe a bin. There we go. I, I, I don't think we need an extinguisher in the can, unless someone has gotten some really spicy food. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if they do that. Uh, Janitors will empty bins and such. Uh, let's see, it's Mick. Yeah, I'm gonna stay a few minutes because my friend wants to play Warface, a free shooting game. Uh, so three more minutes and then you'll be <laughs> you'll float alone in the scene. We have night bots. Uh, we have a bot. I keep forgetting what its name is. Uh, let me do this for a moment. Uh, da, da, da. I'll just use one of the commands here. Slash YT. It should wake it up. Or, well, emphasis on should. <laughs> Apparently, it doesn't. Or it's taking its time. There's something with the bots lately on Twitch here. Oh, there we go. It's yeah, it's stream element, not nightbot. I think I used nightbot for a time, but just uh, out there. <laughs> Thank you for that one. <laughs> uh, let's see. As you expand the hospital with more rooms and staff, the hospital level increases. A larger hospital attracts more uh, patients. As the hospital gets busier, queues may get start to get long. We may need to get build more GPs, offices, and other rooms, and hire more staff to do with the extra patients. Just look out for queue warnings above rooms. You can also hover over a room to highlight people queuing for that room. Okay, nice bits. Uh, let's see. Not having to deal with queues yet, but I should probably hire some more staff to fill in on things. Uh, let's get you. And that's our hospital level up. Uh, let's get you as well. Um, motivation, increase speed, increase happiness. And uh, let's get you then. Okay. Uh, let's see. Get it. An error happened. Oh, you've exhausted all forms of diagnosis on the patient. We still don't know how to treat them. We need some more diagnosis rooms, otherwise the patient will leave. Okay, a general diagnosis. Um, let's put that in the corner here. Glass eye, eye, really? Ward has been unlocked. Okay, there. I wouldn't be surprised if someone loses the, the glass eye if it doesn't, you know, it properly. Uh, let's, let's see. This API is deprecated and discontinued. Please use that or that. Hmm. But it still gave the command. So there's some there's something off with there's something off with the bot, which isn't too uh, <laughs> isn't too surprising. Something hmm. broke again. Let's see. There's a peculiar new illness in town, lightheadedness. We're going to need some expensive new equipment to deal with this. And continue expanding the hospital to unlock the treatment room. We may also need another GP's office and some more staff to keep on top of things. Okay, I think we've got things going well at the moment. I'm concerned. What kind of joke in this are they going to turn lightheadedness into? Uh, it's one of the more iconic ones with this game. Okay. 
Now let's see. We, okay, it really wants us to build another GP's office, so let's just quickly do that. There. There. There and there. Yeah. yeah, this place is starting to fill up already. And uh, just burn 50k. <laughs> All right. Everything is going well. Our doctors have diagnosed a, uh, a patient with bed face, but it requires a work nurse for treatments. Okay. It is throwing these a little bit fast at us. I'll put it in the Was corner it, around it? here. And thank you for joining. Uh, there. And there. Okay, that should be enough, I presume. Hospital level up. Uh, let's see. All right, my guy wants to play. See you, see you later. See you next time, whenever that may be. It's Mick. <laughs> let's see. Wards can be used for diagnosis and also to treat a range of illnesses. A nurse is required to administer uh, ad admit each patient, look after them, and discharge them when they're ready to leave. Add multiple beds to a ward to deal with more than one patient at a time. You can also adjust the setting that the number of nurses that should work there in the settings. It is as useful if you have lots of patients. Okay. So we may need some more nurses to deal with that. But beyond that, we don't really seem to have many cues going on at the moment. Oop. New illness, misery guts. Chronic grumpiness due to a nihilistic semicolon. <laughs> Synthesis treatment for pa the patient for treatment in our pharmacy. Okay. <laughs> nihilistic colon, what? Uh... So far, I'm probably need not to stream this as a series. Nature communes for sick people. Yeah, th this game would take this. This is the type of game that would take quite a bit of time to get going and such. But yeah, it, still is generally fun and well regarded. Yeah. Also, that's one of the also that Steve was a good story. Yeah. Oop, someone is needed there. So let's hire an extra nurse. That's, there you go. Okay, probably should hire another janitor as well. Just in case. Okay, but yeah, overall, we've cured 10 patients in total. Each cure boosts our reputation, which will attract even more patients to the hospital. But yeah, this type of deluxe clinic, this this is already starting to fill up quite a bit, huh? The Two Point Health Ministry is keen to recognize the achievements of every hospital in the county. If we build a hospital that satisfies the needs of the local area, the hospital will be awarded an official star rating. That uh, This will be great for organization. Not only does a, the, each star come with associated rewards, but it also allows us to establish new hospitals around the county. Please uh, continue to expand the hospital to acquire one star rating. Yeah, basically, we need those, well, to unlock later levels, I'm pretty sure. Uh, our organization earns kuda, kudos. Yeah, kudos. You can use this to unlock items for it to use in any of our hospitals. Check the items to list to see what we can afford. Okay, and here come uh, people with lightheadedness. Oh, that. Oh, I forgot. I was figuring it might be the balloon ones, but oh god, I had forgotten that one. <laughs> yep, nope. Okay. I should put some benches down here. Leave some room for a plant. Patients are asked to be endearing sick, not disgusting sick. Yep. Come on. <laughs> like they have control over that. Okay. And yeah, each of these items yeah, increases hospital attractiveness, reduces boredom, uh, reduce litter, reduce hunger. Let's see. Room prestige. Jasmine Odyssey photo. Let's see. Can't say I know who that is. Hmm. 
Okay. I don't either. Oh wait, a deluxe clinic. We need we need this one specifically to deal with lightheadedness. Let's plant that in there. Plant that there, and go. Okay. I, I like that if someone is in it when it gets made, it, they just jump out. How should they jump out or move thrown out? Okay, uh, what does this require? A doctor, okay. Um, let's hire another one. There we go. It looks, it looks like just hiring staff increases the level as well. We now okay. bring you this segment, Sir Nigel Reviews. Today I take a look at the new fine dining establishment, Les Souffle Trist. And what is it like for the experienced palate this uh, is? Yeah, they basically the just remove the light bulb and install chips a head. Are particularly good. I give it four <laughs> salt shakers. Oh dear. Okay. There's two more of those. Uh, but what's this here? New illness? Bog words. A rather disgusting skin condition caused by filthy toilets. and can be cured with an expensive cocktail of drugs carefully prepared in the pharmacy or witchcraft. <laughs> Bog words, hog words. And then that's the timer. Oh, looks like something ran. Oh, no, they're here healing. Or. Oh, treatment failed. Okay, yep, yeah, there's a bunch of minor illnesses that don't really show on characters, but the big ones, well, they become obvious. <laughs> They're pretty obvious, typically. Uh, okay, hospital reputation is now good. Hmm, it said something there about us being able to pick up rooms. But, yeah. Let's... Yeah, let's put on a quick save, because I might continue this for myself, but also... A Okay, always good when they check, save and quit. But yeah, nice game, but I don't think it'd be our style for story streaming at least. Maybe we can throw it onto the pile of dozens upon dozens of possible chill games. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm not really feeling the summer. Like, sure, it's somewhere fun, but some of them are a lot of... Almost a lot of bad puns, I feel like, as well now. Yeah, it's only the first level. The true hecticness will only start later on in the game when, well, things, of course, start to go wrong. In that is way, the really game is so, that game is sort of like The Sims. It's, it's nice it... to have things stable and such, but the true fun happens when everything goes to hell. Yeah, but is that really a shield stream then? Hmm. It was 50 years ago. Most of the Earth's population had been killed by aliens, Reticulans. In the end, our ancestors were forced into a peace treaty with Reticulans. They saved mankind from extinction, but the price was high. We had to leave the Earth, our home planet, forever. Some of us have stayed in the rebuilt starship, Makuta, in the Earth's orbit. The rest of us were moved to Mars. With the help of Reticulans, we built a base in one of the craters. We survived with hope that in the future, we will succeed in transforming Mars into our home. New Earth.
Okay, yeah. Second game of the day, UFO Afterlight, which is actually the third game in a series. The first yep. one being uh, UFO Aftermath, and the middle one being UFO Aftershock. I'm pretty sure I've seen playthroughs by Kukoska of both of those games, but I don't think he ever touched this one. Hmm. All right. It, I'm a bit split on what to be on the aliens. I remember reading an LP, a Let's Play of it on the LP channel uh, what the fuck called uh on the let's play archive okay let's see let's start a new game and see how this goes basically this this game or the the previous two games of this were sort of like XCOM, but more in real time than turn-based let's put it on easy because i'll probably get my ass kicked well yeah, it will be interesting to see how this goes there we go. <clears throat> Explore activation, yeah, excavation sites on past the game. Something strange has happened. Uh, let me also start the timer before I forget. There. Something strange is happening at the rec this recently uncovered excavation site. We, we need to take a closer look. This is a tutorial mission where you should learn about how to con <clears throat> control tactical battles. Move the camera with the arrow keys. You can zoom in and out using the mouse wheel, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'm Let's see, ready. we have Jean here. You can move the character by right-clicking the place you want the character to go. On my okay. Way. Uh, are you going, or...? More right-clicking sends the character further from the previously planned waypoint. Hold, holding Alt key, uh, toggle between adding an overriding plan. Mode is indicated with cursor. Uh, yellow, add, and red overrides. Relocating. On my way. Relocating. Okay, so basically it's just changing the place. Uh, game, yeah, game speed is controlled with the buttons in the upper left corner. Maybe paused and on paused here. Game is paused. You uh, Double click on your character to move the character onto him or her. Okay, let's get it playing now. And yeah, she is going slow. This is where you change the character's plan. Okay, clear and delete. So, let's see, delete lost or selected part of the plan. Clear all. Um, yeah, clear all. Okay, let's just keep moving. Actually, let's speed you up a bit because you are moving rather slow because you are wearing a very bulky spacesuit. Okay, we def <laughs> definitely found something here. Move to the mask area. Let's just speed this up. Target identified. Oh, oh uh, uh, hello. Gene spotted an um, enemy. It's uh, <laughs> that looks like a hard light mech or something. Oh, hello in chat, Marco. How are you doing today? Hello, Polo. <laughs> Did that again. Uh, okay. Hello, you can Marco. See the, there we go. You can see that Jurgen and his weapon to take an item uh, from the ground. Right click on it when the character changes to palm. I'll do my best. Okay, Hello, better hurry noon. with this. <laughs> oh, hey, hey there, Noon. Been a while since we've seen you in chat, I think. You doing well? Okay, right click on the character opens their equipment. Uh, so you can drag and drop from backpack to the hands. Uh, this two-handed laser weapon was originally used as a, sci a building or scientific tool. It's not very effective as a weapon. Scientific laser takes energy from batteries. It can either shoot using aimed or snapshot modes and deals laser damage. I get the feeling the developers... I, I think the developers were a bit more uh, Eastern European because English is very Your clearly orders? not their first language. They're, it's well, but there's grammar mistakes here and there. Okay. Let's see, noon, I was sometimes lurking. Yes, I have been doing well. Hope you and everyone's here. Okay. Yeah, kill the marked robots. Yep. You've been doing well. Uh, Marco, I'm okay. Just beat the Persona 3 remake and it was sad. Yeah. <laughs> it's... I mean, it was, I mean, it's Persona 3, so... Yeah. Red clicking. Yeah. Targeting. I like that it's, it shows the speed Twenty sort less. of by how quickly the bars up there are moving and red when they're it's paused 
Move to the other marked location. Clicking here moves up and down the drain levels or alternatively you just can select one, two, three directly. Right clicking the door will add opening it to a character's plan. I'm afraid I can't do that. Uh, let's see, how can we even get you open? Uh, we first Sorry, need to get... Sir, it's impossible. Okay, just move your ass up there first then. Hmm. Okay, see nothing new there. Okay, why are you saying it's impossible? What's next? Uh, sir? Uh, I see uh, the control panel on the wall there. <laughs> she just opens it up like that. Okay, move into there, you. Let's see. You can see friendly person now, Diego Ramirez. Get close to him and make to make a group. On my way. Okay. Are there short keys for these, perhaps? Let's see. Move to the other marked location. Uh, location. Left click on the character. Select him or her. You control two soldiers now. You may select more soldiers by dragging the left mouse. Yep. I'm there. Ready. And they'll try to move information. Okay. And they get assigned their own color. Make it easier to see who does what. Okay. Okay, pause by pressing space bar. Usually it's better to attack together. You can try other battle tactics later. Remember that various trainings, military, scientific, and technical, gives you more tactical options in combat. Okay, can we learn more about in way. the library? Ready. Your orders? orders? Okay, we can quick select our characters with one with the number keys. Is there anything specific for seeing these or changing the height? Diego got quite the yaw. Enemy yeah. somewhere here. The symbol shows that an enemy has been detected or scanned. Okay, okay they must have he's... heard it. Not only is he can look like a. He actually looks more like an action figure. <laughs> Okay, slow speeds, normal speeds. And they've got line of Your sights. Orders? Okay, attack. Engaging. No way to do it. Uh, Ready? Maybe you right. should move aside a go. bit so you don't get shot in the back. What's next? Kick ass. Okay. Come on, you two. Here we go. There are several types of damage, permanent, temporary, or stun damage. Different weapons deal different types of damage. Some units can regenerate their hit points quickly. Okay, I, yeah, I, that was something I remember from watching Kikoski's Let's Plays. I think with some targets, he did a much better job stunning them okay. and then just running up and beating them. Your orders? Uh, are you not attacking as well? Oh, it's dead. Oh. I'm ready. Okay, Relocating. move. Let's see. Marco, I did play the original and knew that it, what was in store for me that made it more sad since you can actually bond with all your party members now. Kick-Ass? Is that a reference to the movie Kick-Ass? Yeah, I'd say that's too general. <clears throat> you own three territories to start with. Click on one of them to view op the options available. Our archaeologists have been attacked <laughs> by some mechanical <laughs> drones on the excavation site at Sidonia. Seems like the ancient Martians have not left their dwellings unprotected. We will have to learn how to use weapons, and a few of us will have to become soldiers, so we can accompany the scientists. Fortunately, so the a... gave us their laser weapons. Unfortunately, the batteries for them are scarce as hell. Can we produce some more? I'm afraid we are not familiar with this technology. In that case, we can post that hair. our research of Mars terraformation and concentrate on laser technologies. On the other hand, it might be easier to browse the database brought from Earth and start production of projectile firearms. Some of the oldest settlers still keep their guns from mutant wars on Earth. They will surely lend them to our scientists for study. As soon as we get oh, the blueprints, we'll create a production line and start weapons production. So here's a fun fact. You want to know how the LP connects the 
UFO aftermath and UFO aftershock? Uh, let's see. If I remember correctly, aftershock is basically after well the first game with the aliens having been driven off, but having left uh, some nasty stuff on the planet. That yeah, becomes some, the new enemy. Yeah, they left some weird, um, gray goo you know, thing goo that grows around Earth. And you're given a choice. You can join them, you can join the aliens, or you can keep fighting the goo. The mm -hmm. canonical choice was that humanity joined the aliens on the spaceships above Earth. What the LP okay. did was, because of like how the characters are, they actually wouldn't agree to this choice. Hmm. So instead, they had them fight the goo, and then it turns out, and then at the end, in an epilogue, it turns out that the goo comes back. So at the beginning of the of Aftershock, they instead write it like, oh, we then, once we found out the goo was unstoppable, we hijacked one of the aliens that we could use it to for to bring up our people okay from what i remember i believe there were two factions with the reticulans a cultist faction which was the ones actually attacking earth for some religious prophecy bullshits and then the main faction which came in afterwards to kick their asses off the planet and are probably the one are also the ones helping here i presume probably all right that will explain for our our phone would, okay, they invaded and they won, but they and they move us away. Is yeah, that they probably should have added in... a bit about the two factions. Yeah, for and then they also help us. This makes me all right. Okay, they conquered us, but they're not being total asses as in what some other sci-fi aliens would have done. Yeah, like they're uh, just it's... total annihilation or enslavement or something. Just all right. We move you over here. Okay. So, we can unpause yeah, the game. Like he should give him context. Let's see. Xanti, humans. There's a Cido excavation site at Sidonia. The XCOM fans will know that place. And I'm pretty sure the people who made this game were XCOM fans as well. You can establish a mine on this territory. Click on the button and your technicians will uh, include constructing this station in their plan. Uh, yeah. Let's build that. Uh, come on. The flags mark territories around you. Some of them are neutral. Click on one of them. Uh, let's first get to actually building that. Let's see. Uh, we can. There's a possible fuel mine there. There's a metal mine there. A geological probe. You can occupy this territory by building a geosond, uh, a geosond here. Uh, click on the button and placing a geosound will be included in your scientific, ve uh, yeah, scientific vehicles plan. Yep. This, marks, uh, this mark on the enemy territory shows a potential combat mission. Click on it. Okay, I was curious what that was. I thought it was signifying more well, areas where we can build things, but no, it's combat. Let's see. You can't occupy this territory before you have successfully completed this mission. By clicking on the button, you will send your UFO with a squad of soldiers here. Okay, so this might be... Of course, it's more linear in the tutorial. But I'm guessing the game may be a bit more linear like that as well. Maybe? Mm. UFO realized... can't reach some of the... Hmm. Go ahead. This game is a bit unique. But normally when alien force attacks, it's the United Alien Force. But... The CV sounds like they are actually dividing into factions. Yeah. Uh, that that is a mistake that is often made with uh, with sci-fi. That's the, uh, the, yeah, that uh, an entire species is typically considered like one uh, of one singular mind or such. And let's see. Yeah. Clicking on the menu, I mm -hmm, will take you to other management so, screens. I would say it's kind of refreshing. They were attacked by a extremist faction, but the main, I guess you could call main factions, came over and tried to help. It looks like we're actually getting at least water from uh, the North Pole by cracking it, I presume. Okay, uh, base. Oop. There are several buildings already in your home base. You will be able to build more later on. 
Okay. Some buildings need crews to function. You can move characters between buildings by drag and dropping their images. Okay. We medical, I presume. Hydroponics. Engineering. Um, I have no idea what all of this is. Overview. The overview the window shows you all the col your colony is uh, important data. We hold some raw material deposits that have still not been used. <laughs> I get the feeling they just made some clay heads and just <laughs> made models ma based off of those. Uh, having access to individual resources is important for manufacturing equipment and constructing buildings. Without sufficient supplies, some items will not be able to be produced nor buildings constructed. You can increase supply levels by establishing new mines. Okay, we've got one fuel going on at the moment. Our UFO can't reach the combat sites at the moment. Research. On the right, you can view the list of available technologies. You can drag and drop them into the laboratory's plan. Some of the scientists are unemployed. We could consider building a new lab. We need firearms, combat training, and medicine. Yeah, we also get a view of how difficult or well easy it may be to uh, research there some are of no these projects assigned do you think that's a good idea let's see okay i just double click it to get in there then we can probably just put minute other stuff behind yep can change the order of uh, things are researched in by drag and dropping uh, and medicine. there we go let's go for that at the moment and then survival there. We might start some projects as soon as all the prerequisites are fulfilled. I think okay. we need to hire, to hire a scientist or two for the current project. Wait, are they researching? Are they supposed to be researching things separately, or? I think they're all researching one specific thing. Like it says, Ramirez's Wait. projects. Hmm. I'm confused. Yeah, like the tutorial isn't being too good at all of this, but let's yeah, that's let's presume even, something down there says available scientist. Oh, sure right, you can add in extra scientists. Okay. You can try collecting, just collecting. Nope. That's okay, try clicking on a different project. Oh. Nope. Uh, on the right, you can view the list of equipment that can be produced. You can view, or you can drag and drop in factory's plan. There you have to, you have to have access to all the resources required to manufacture some items. There okay. Is no production running. If we yes, yes, shut up. Victory, we must manufacture weapons. Buzzsaw, two-handed tools that can be uh, used as close combat weapons. Buzzsaws may be loaded with buzzsaw discs. It attacks using melee modes. Okay, which makes sense. If you use these things in close combat against things tougher than they are, need. In different workshops. Uh, oh, okay. I th I think I get it. We one lab can have multiple scientists, but you need multiple labs to have multiple projects running. Uh, no, no. Um, let's just make some knives. Knife. There's almost okay. a knife. Storage. No, anyway, yeah, there are some items that you never want to use to produce. You can move them to the waste store so that they do not interfere with useful equipment. So open the waste store here and then drag and drop items that are not required, uh, currently required into some it. Some of the weapons may be further refined. You'll find the necessary data when you click on the weapon in the compose menu. Uh, it's uh, F2000. I don't want to think he looks like our uh, brother was at uh, Mark Hamill? If he was thrown, if he was run through the Vietnam War, maybe. Probably, yeah. Okay, yeah, people. He, he looks familiar. This is where you can see the okay, list of all the characters one... in the game, date about them. Okay. New training okay. programs are available. Mm -hmm. This experience level adds one training point. Can buy training with these points by using appropriate classes panel. Military scientists are technical. Okay, so you could specialize or you could uh, <clears throat> let's see. Oh, they each have some history as well. Okay. 
In each character, there are one or two numbers in different color. The color represents the character's class, white for soldiers, green for scientists, and red for technicians. And the numbers show whose character's level in that class. Okay, you would... Hmm. You would expect more like red being so, uh, combat, blue being scientist, and then yellow for technician, because that's typically what's the, the color scheme that people go for with that. Yeah, or at least white being medic. Hmm. Yeah, you, were, were, you were wanting to say something? Me or wrong? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I would say she looks like the lady from... Emperor's Groove. <laughs> Isma. Bless you. <laughs> New training programs are available. Uh, Man, these guys look familiar. I feel like they might be. Maybe light references to uh, character archetype or something? Maybe. Or actual characters. Okay, we can't train anyone at the moment. We've got some squads that we can set up here. There's always one active squad that will go on a combat mission using the UFO. It is always the last squad that you clicked. Note that scientists and physicians will, uh, will appropriate trainings. Uh, well, with appropriate trainings, maybe imported members of your squad. You must give some equipment to the team as well. Let's see, you can have more than one squads, each with one to seven soldiers. Each squad can have specific equipment and will be useful for different types of missions. You can enlist a character into the squad by dragging, dropping his or her image. Okay. And then we have equipment where we can, well, equip everyone in the squads. Uh, and oh, diplomacy. Yes, yes. Yes, it's all. Uh... You have lost contact with the Earth's Council, and there is no one you can communicate with. Once you contact other factions later in the game, you will find that the screen displays more options. Okay, so we're we're cut off. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, when a game has diplomacy as options, that typically is a show that things could get uh, rather interesting. Uh, you can change the Vegas yeah. plan while it's being carried out. I, okay, they're just heading off to do stuff. The game looks very interesting so far. Produced. Just rather over a new station <laughs> rather has complex. Been built on the planet. A new station yeah. has been built on the planet. We have occupied new territory. Input of resources has been increased. New technology has been researched. See, one of your okay, can you free everyone there and calm down? <laughs> Holy. I was to say. My biggest concern of the game so far is, besides being combat, is I don't think this game is easy to show off in a showcase Sunday. I feel like yeah. 30 minutes is not enough for this one. Definitely. We've only gotten a little taste so far. Um, I might look up some reviews for this game. Hmm. But then again, it is an XCOM-like game, so it's... A new station we are, we are, has been built on the planet. If we play on easy, we'll probably be able to... Chemical mine, okay. Technology has been researched. Yeah, easy, we should be able to defend it. For XCOM games are not necessarily long, but it's exceptions. The the Earth, as we ceased communication after our previous, well, misunderstanding. Anyway, the Laputa communication facility appears to be not functional, as we have not received any response. The emergency plan for this situation requires us to build a standby communication satellite. It takes but a few days to build such a device. We just need to check a couple of technical details. No trouble for my staff. Everything should be in the records brought from the Earth. Okay. I'm uh, where do we get that? Yeah, that's. I'm maybe maybe yes. Yeah, we're definitely have to do more research on this. Yeah, this feels like a plan considering what we are doing in game. Raw materials, we'll be able to construct a new. Let's see. Double click on an overview, switch to globe, and enter on that selected territory. Okay. Uh, project. Oh. It seems that we can already make some of these. Some items um, cannot be produced without sufficient access to the raw materials. 
Okay, we need more metal to make those devices, toolkit, suit repair, robotics, nothing here. Uh, technical, mines, robotics, weapons, robot projectile weapon. There is no production running. If we are to achieve victory, we must manufacture weapons. Let's see. We, yeah, we have no metals at all, it seems. Can we even... Yeah, we can make some of these, so... Let's make some of those. It looks like we don't... One thing I like here is that it doesn't actually use up uh, resources. As long as we have access to a base minimum, we can just make as many as we want. Uh, but where do we even build this... Ex this Seriously, communication thing. The characters look like misshapen sims. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm gonna say... Oh, blue boy, this game game call again. Uh, you know you play you guess who? who? Uh, guess what? Guess who? Board game. Uh, the board game, yes. Yeah, I have. Mm -hmm. If we get more raw materials, I'm surprised he didn't have it. Construct a new building. Uh, it sounds familiar, at least. It's uh, a very old really? school game, but they kind of look like characters that that are exaggerated features to make the game easier to go. Do they have blue eyes? Do they have a big nose? You kind of like that. There are like, new okay. items in this section. I am sorry, but oh, I have, have not been supplied with more detailed records yet. Okay, we have a lot of info on a lot of people here. Hmm, that, that, that makes me a think that is we, we probably won't be able to recruit, we may not be able to recruit just random people. That, that would be interesting if our list of units is just, well, li very limited. Uh, yeah. but seriously, where do I need to build that stupid communication device? I was gonna say, Did... the characters don't look bad, they look fine. Except for Diego, I feel like they could probably don't move work on Diego. Uh, if we get more raw materials, we'll be able to construct a new building. Okay, we can't build anything at the moment, and the thing isn't even showing in there. So I'm presuming they were just building it themselves or something. But yeah, we've hit the 25 minutes mark. Uh, let, let's give it a few more minutes just to see if anything interesting pops up. Been approached with a diplomatic proposal on exploring our new territory in the south. We ran into the reticulans that brought us here and assisted us in founding our Mars colony. <laughs> And yes, the little green men, or gray men. They suggest cooperation. They offer their weapons and scientific support. And what do they ask for in exchange? I bet that our enemies are hot on their heels as well. They even offer to send some of their, well, men, if we need them. They have serious problems with attacking robots and are asking for our help. Okay. A list of factions we have met during the course of the game are displayed in the picture of Mars on the left-hand side. You can try and broker a priest treaty, a treaty or trade with them. The aliens will send you their demands and you can then decide whether you wish to accept or refuse it. Okay. I say we refuse the aliens' demands. <laughs> Let's see. They want... They offer one metal. Uh, alliance uh, laser rifles and batteries and it doesn't say them wanting anything in return yet if you sign the peace treaty with a faction you can break it later by clicking the appropriate button the, this action will not begin the war immediately only the attack missions on the faction's territories will be created the war with all side effects will start only when you send your ufo to one of these missions okay <laughs> don't think we'll want to start a war with the people who put us on this rock Congratulations, we've got the aliens on one side and humanity on the other. A new station has been built on the planet. And yeah, they, they've territory. got their own facts and territory there. Some deposits contain more raw materials than others. You can recognize them by different icons on the globe and in the overscreen. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, do we have enough fuel to go here now? Yes, we do. Let's see. Estimated environment hostility by day three, by night four. This mission takes place in open terrains where neither our soldiers nor the enemy will have much cover available to them. 
You will need to seek out all enemy units and destroy all alien resistance. Uh, let's see, is this one the same? Yes, it's just the same. Okay. This is very clearly going to play into things as well at some point. Solar activity low, environmental hostility by day four, by night five. What does that mean with environmental hostility? Is it... Are we going to... <laughs> is this a bug world? Okay. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, escape doesn't actually open up the exit menu. Or anything. Yeah, the, uh, the game has so far. I do like the character. Somebody damaged the pipes, bringing water from the North Pole. I'm afraid that our reserves will not last for more than three days. We must repair them, or we are all going to die. May it have a bearing on the latest events in some way? We have discovered no seismic activity, meteor fall, or anything that might cause damage this large. Nothing like this has happened till now. Therefore, we are definitely bound to assume some relationship. In this case, I suggest sending UFO and armored crew to the place. We can't risk losing our technical team or their vehicles. From now on, this planet seems not to be as safe as it used to be. Somebody from the technical staff should come with the UFO to mend everything, at least a bit. Our water supply has been suspended. Our territory has been invaded. Input of resources has been decreased. Oh dear. Okay. Enemies have attacked. Oh, <laughs> Urgent mission. Yep. Go ahead. We'll we'll end after we clear this off. Yeah. I'll say, after I, I can find the characters. I have their own charm. They don't look bad. The <laughs> game looks quite nice, actually. Has its own charm. But definitely need to research a bit of an. How long it is and uh, how peculiar it might be. Yeah. Okay. That's definitely an interesting look so far. I might just look for a Let's Play to get some tips as well. See if yeah. Kikoska maybe picked it up at some point and I just didn't notice. For now, let's move on to our third game for the day. Um, I think I'm going to... Call it off right now. My family's coming to visit. I gotta get ready and stuff like that. I am just gonna go take a shower. Okay. I'll see you guys later. All right. No problem. And see you later. Thanks for being see here. Later, Roman. Be safe. Yes, too. And apparently, this game now has two-player co-op. But yeah, this game is Ultratron, and this is one of those that I probably picked up on discounts at some point. <laughs> but I just don't know a damn thing about, so let's just give this a try. Uh, humanity has been deleted. Destroy the guardians of the central nexus, avenge the human race. Shoot all the droids, droids drop dots when destroyed, collect dots for cash, spend it on the shop to upgrade your droids. Yeah, this is looking like very much an arcade ga arcade game. Shoot spider droids, drop power-ups when destroyed, collect power-ups will also react when shot, and collect fruit for points bonus. WSD, left mouse, Okay, and escape for a pause. Yep. Okay, I <laughs> I'll start the timer, but mutual out will be output here. Yeah, I very much doubt that we'll have uh, much story in this, but just for the sake of it, will not will vanish unless collected. Okay. Yeah, this is reminding me of. Um, this is reminding me of a game, or a very ar an old arcade game, where you basically just have to stay alive as long as possible in a room with four entrances from which more and more enemies would be spawning. Uh, yep, that's that done, uh, I guess. Uh, smart bombs. Fires a devastating long range EMP shark blast, press spacebar, or use the mouse middle to fire. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I thought we have to defend the thing in the middle there, but no. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm completely blanking on the name of that game. It was an old NES era thing, I think. You just got a shimmer, 100 dots. <laughs> Bigger ones. 
Yeah, I feel like I don't know what you mean here now. I don't think I played it, but you do. It's been many old school games have been doing a return with more modernization to make it more streamlined and more fun. Mm. But yeah, you can't. There has been so many games over the years that it's definitely hard to keep track of them now. Bouncy bullets. Yeah, I think it was. I, I think the background of that game was that there was some sort of a blood sports game show or such. And now we actually have enemies that will shoot back. Okay, this is looking nice so far, but not really our style. The yeah. Pops one of the 50 dots. Trust. Okay, let's get that. Dot Slurper, really? And it's Pac-Man. Okay. okay, for a moment I thought that's... For a moment I thought that flashing lights was uh, an, an attack happening or such. Hmm. Food must be collected in time. Okay. There. Okay, that is a lot of points. And the bigger ones get announced. A thousand shots fired. Okay. In vulnerability just as we end. <laughs> Let's see. Increase the range of which your droid slurps up dots. <laughs> okay, I don't think... Yeah. There might be some story, but I don't think it'll uh, be really <laughs> worth... Just... I, I think it is going to be minimum uh, story and such. So the, it's time to ramp up now with the difficulty. Okay. It do at least it doesn't look like a bad game, like we've had in some cases, like like one of our very first Showcase Sundays with uh, the aircraft carrier, or at least it was supposed to <laughs> lead to an aircraft carrier thing that got a sequel sometime later, which also still blew. Yeah, I think I know what you mean. Yeah, when we gave games an hour each. Okay. Yeah, let's call it early on this one then. Yeah, okay. probably for the best, but that one I feel like is easy now. Yeah. Well, moving on to the next one, and I get the feeling we've showcased this at one point or another as well. You have not. Unho okay, you Unholy Heights. I don't okay. recognize this at all. Uh, let's wait a minute. Uh, back to main menu. No, not that. There, yes. Uh, oh, <laughs> I thought it was continuing from an earlier save or something, but, but no. Let's see. The devil spent his savings on a place in the projects. Reset timer and start again. Dupes and monsters into moving in. Aim for world con <laughs> conquest. <laughs> really? Tenants also pay rent, so that's two birds with one stone. Okay, managing your apartment. This monster is looking for a place to live. Move them into your building. They'll pay you rent, and you'll have someone to protect your home. Grow an army of monstrous tenants. Aim to conquer the world. Yeah, definitely not stream this one for I don't recognize it at all. I feel like this one I would have remembered. Okay, we can click on them to let them move in. Press the Peachy room boy. change button to move tenants. What the? <laughs> The watermen approaches. They're great at long range attacks. Okay. Let's see. Yep, they're moving in right at the back. If enemies close in, uh, read about monsters in the bestiary. Yep. Okay, they weren't interested in moving in apparently. And we've got another cheapy. Okay. Okay, they go looking first. And if they, if they find the place acceptable, then we can click on them to accept. And now we've got a centaur who, yeah, will leave if they are unpleased or if there is no room. Okay. And here's the room change button. Okay. Another cheapy. Let's see. Beast here in the devil's room can provide some hints. 
Let's see. Devil's Room. Okay. These guys will come to your building to help expand. Leave it to us, cheap. The building can be given a second or third floor, and individual rooms can be improved as well. And you can learn about your tenants in the bestiary. Horsosaurus, Misdrain's physical, they like expensive furniture. Attack E, walk speed A. An important part of, in part of recruiting monsters is the devil's reputation. The demons love the devil. In the case of demons, the more tenants die, the more they like the devil. <laughs> really? Let's see, bestiary. Cheapies. Uh, cheapies aren't interested in the devil. These monsters look like young chicks. Their impression of the devil increases or decreases based on the satisfaction of the residents. Okay, so basically, if we keep everyone else happy, they will be happy. Then we have undead. Suspicious of the devil. These creatures are the walking corpses of dead citizens. These gross monsters will respect the devil with each more, uh, more with each victorious battle. Elementals. Suspicious of the devil, lovers of nature and healthy living, elementals despise abyssals and love an apartment full of plants. And speaking of abyssals, they are also suspicious. These messengers from beyond hate elementals. These fishy creatures can improve their impression of the devil by offering a prayer. Demi-humans. Okay, the, the, the top bit is their general like of the, <laughs> our, our character at the moment. Uh, Human-like, demi-humans hate demons. Demi-humans will automatically come to like the devil. However, when a resident dies, their distrust grows. Okay. And demons, these denizens of evil love the darkness and hate demi-humans. Their respect for the devil increases each time a resident dies. However, they get bored when the dying stops. Okay. Chimera. Uh, are essentially mutated animals. Chimera gain or lose respect for the devil based on the satisfaction of other residents. So in a way like the cheapies. And we've got adventurers and boss. Okay, it's gen okay, it's general more than that. Okay. Uh, we've got a thousand golds. We've got no room. Uh, let's see. Defeat gang leader before starting construction. You also need 1500 gold. Okay, so we're at max capacity at the moment. Yep. Yeah, um. Use the quests. Using the quest board, the devil can lure out adventurers. This is the quest board, don't forget about it. When a quest is chosen, the main quest, written red, yellow unlocks items, green unlocks monsters. Pay attention to it. Uh, adventures will attack in waves of 1 to 4. If all invaders are eliminated, you will receive piles of cash. What could go <laughs> what could be better? Try to manage your quest as best as you can. Okay. Devil's trial. Get to know the flow of battle by fighting a passing adventurer. Don't worry if they get away. Okay, here comes one of the chimera. But we're full. If all adventurers are defeated, the quest will continue. Okay. However, if one escapes, you will fail the mission. Be careful. You can speed things up. The heck? <laughs> Hello, Defeat moon. invaders before they steal gold from the devil's room. Okay. All the devil can do in battle. Knock, knock. Hello. Uh, is, is, uh, is knock on door and call monsters out to fight. And choose which monsters stand and fight. And which ones run and hide. Uh, how you direct your army is up to you. Melee, mid-range, long-range. Okay, pincer formation. <laughs> Sound typical. Uh, gets uh, energetic all of a sudden. Okay, click on wounded tenants to rescue them from death. Rescue tenants can return uh, to the fight with You want a water elemental to help out here? Okay, when they're not home, we can't call them out, of course. But now we've got them from both sides, so that's that. <laughs> Village Watch was defeated, and we got five gold from them and 60 in rent. <laughs> okay, before the next battle, increase your number of tenants. Uh, what are you? Are you an abyssal? Okay. Speed up time with the game button. I like, I partially like that it shows those here, but it, I would also like it if we could, well, pause those at the... F <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was saying, if he does have multiple heads, or 
school of heads. Nope. Okay, and we can just be attacked randomly as well. Witch patrol. As with the boss, watch out. Okay, a long range enemy will run away if you approach them. Well, best way to deal with that then is to pincer them. Oh, and see you have some fully healed, apparently. Okay. <laughs> a thousand Hello, pizza. Gold. Hey, pizza, how are you doing? Doing pretty decent myself. Not looking forward to the dentist on <laughs> Tuesday. Now she's quest freely and aim for world domination. New missions available. Uh, pretty, pretty awful, to be honest. Okay, wh what's up then? Let's see. A rumor is that monsters living in your apartment. Curious village are coming to investigate. Let them come. Okay, so we do have to time things a bit here with whether, well, our tenants are actually home or not during these attacks. And someone's heading off. Yep, really? Wrapped in the futon. Yep, you're, you're doing work as a lifeguard, okay. Hmm. Speed things up a bit. I'm going to... Uh, Gossip Guild approaching, really? Uh, let's see. Ate something containing milk and... Well, it's lactose intolerant people... Uh, yeah. Oh. Okay, you, you are not healing up well at all, it seems. Hmm. Okay, more are coming. Two or three. Hmm. Let's see, not behind on rent, but they are away at the moment. Working at an amusement park, okay. Hmm. Let's see, I'm just going to be lurking, talking here and there, okay. All right, no worries. Okay, Go whatever you cheap is back. Actually, let's take a look here. About apartments, you can evict a tenant by mousing over their picture and clicking the X above their heads. You can adjust rent by scrolling the mouse wheel. You can buy furniture by left-clicking on the item. You can make them happy by buying the furniture they want. But when the CD player cheap, they'll tell you what they want. Check out all the, avail you know, all the furniture available, even a freaking Xbox. Try to make the perfect room for your tenants. Okay, they want a CD player. Uh, music. Or are these... Okay, we, these are selections. Let's see, CD play player for 250. Okay. Hmm. I'm hoping that'll also help with their healing, maybe? You want a jump rope? So you want some entertainment? Uh, miscellaneous? Sports? Jump rope? Oh, that one is cheap. And you are at full health still. You want an electric fan. Hmm. Eating your <laughs> freezer burned meal. Also, I used to realize something about the centaurs. But mm -hmm. Lower half is horse, Ooh. yes. Upper half. Rip Boy found a lover. So now we've got two living in one room. If the tenant has a lover, their fighting prowess will double. Probably because there's two of them. <laughs> Need All a right. good job and nice place to attract the mates. But okay, so we go ahead. Uh, so is, this center of these actually have the front mid. Wait. They have a human part, they have a horse part, but they have a dino part as well on the front legs. Okay, I didn't notice that. I noticed they have claws on the front legs. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, so if we if we make their rooms nice, it, they have a bigger chance of attracting a mate. Okay. And thus increasing their combat capability. 
Hmm. 59 collected in rents. Wait, and someone has fallen ill. Let's see, can we do anything about that? Yeah, yeah these are pretty crappy conditions here. I'm guessing there's room for a third one there. So they could get kids, I guess. Run yeah, the bill and will respect. Could be. Ooh. Village mob approaching. Oh, bloody hey, what have you done now, Hill? Okay. Just Wait. one? Hold on, this is village mob. I only see one. You, you get back. Okay. A mob of one, apparently. <laughs> you got five gold for that. A little amusing. Yeah, but also a, a bit slow. Let me. Yeah, but it is. I can't. I can't see a dino the part. main hmm. thing we look for. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, what was the begin? Th th there is a s story here. Obviously, just. Very straightforward. Like, you all, you all for two con the world conquest. And you use uh, tenants. That's it. <laughs> here the floor is, and it's just the floor is on fire. Yeah, let's install a fan here to hopefully help the group weaker based on their satisfaction. Okay. Hmm. And stats yeah, seem to differ between ones as well. Hmm. Oh, could we see a, a trio, maybe? No. <laughs> okay. You are satisfied, you are satisfied. You want an electric fan. There. And yeah, they feel sick. Need desk for work. Okay, a orange desk, really. Don't they're satisfied with it? But yeah, oh, a, a fun little game. I have heard well about this, but yeah, it's not going to be something for us, really. Yeah, not for street. Our, our type of streams, at least. Hmm. If we get attacked again, we'll be in a bit of trouble since these two are rather hurt. Satisfaction so so. We they both all of them said that the their rooms rock. These are less satisfied at the moment, but that's mostly because they're sick, I presume. Hmm. Let's speed up a bit. And they're off for work. Yeah. Let's see if we can take on the next, the last wave. Yep, here we go. Search party approaching. Says okay, what they're do you healed, do in the healed. Okay. The elementals are out at the moment, though. Uh-oh. There's two of them this time. Deal with the range character first. Oh, and here comes the elementals. You go hide. There we go. Oh, they they joined in on the fight as they came back. <laughs> okay. New missions available. Let's see. Ne'er do wells, magic lab, wanted gang. Okay. Stars, of course, showing how difficult things are. It doesn't look like we can complete. You know, we can re. We can't redo old ones. It seems. Oh well. But uh, yeah, nice little game, but not probably not our thing as well. Yeah, not for streaming. Like, had it give, had more story to it and such, maybe. Yeah. But uh. Okay, moving on to the next game. Unmetal. <laughs> yep. 
Now, I think this one is going to be one that we do want to stream. So, let me reset the timer. Okay, now yep, I'm curious. Let's go on easy for the moment. A Soviet war helicopter entered Allied territory. The aircraft was intercepted and shot down. As the pilot emerged from the wreckage, he was arrested by the same bastards who shot him down, and later was brought to a military base for interrogation. That pilot was me. Name? My name is Fox. Jesse Fox. You don't seem to be Russian. Russian? Me? You were piloting a Russian aircraft two hours ago. I also drive a Toyota, and I'm not Japanese. All right, Mr. Fox. Before arresting you, I'm obligated to write down a report with your version of the facts. So tell us what the hell you were doing in that heavily armed Soviet helicopter. It's a long story. Sergeant? Bring us some coffee. Yes, sir. Wachowski, <laughs> bring the lieutenant some coffee. Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Fox, coffee. we have plenty of time. Explain what happened. In 1972, a crack commando unit threw me in a prison for a crime I didn't commit. You're under arrest for a crime you didn't commit. <laughs> I promptly <laughs> escaped from a maximum security stockade to the underground, trying to survive from these soldiers of fortune. Yeah, the meta is going to be strong with this one. And no, that is not Young Snake. That okay. was painful to watch. Also, how did you escape from that cell? Piece of cake. I just had to write a note. A note? Where'd you get the paper from? I used toilet paper. I see. And how did you find a pen? A pen? I was in a dirty, grimy cell, not in an office. I wrote the note with a rusty wire, using my own blood as ink. Go ahead. Uh, I was saying, did, I heard that name Wachowski so many times of Wachowski get us coffee. I feel like I hear that in so many media. Like, is Wachowski become a, a new name. alternative to the Bob or something? I guess. Okay, we punch stuff to get things out of them. Let's see, F to enter the inventory, combine. Okay, C and C. I scratched my arm with the wire and got to work. It wasn't easy. The toilet paper tore under the pressure of the bloody wire. Those bastards gave us cheap paper. One ply, unscented, and unpatterned. <laughs> it's a prison. The toilet. Why not grab the paper like a normal person? You know how prison is. It's kill or be killed. And I wasn't going to be killed by some <laughs> dirty toilet. Yep. Hey, you moron. Holy Jesus. You schmuck. Do you really think I'd be stupid enough to kill myself? Kill myself? Ah. Okay, that is clever. Okay, express near flashing to search. Oop, okay, are we gonna create them a bit more creative with that trick? Yeah. Let's see. When so, selected, press C to use it. Uh. Uh. Wait. wait. No, not combine. Uh, select any main inventory in the inventory. Once selected, press C to use it. it it's. Uh, oh, wait. No? What, what, what do you want with this game? Uh, C is combine, not. Uh, What's like the. Select oh, X, X to select, then C becomes use. There we go. There you go. Left the guard locked in the cell. Then I threw away the key and got out of there. Mr. Fox, what about the noose? Where did you get that from? 
Where did I get the noose? Are you seriously asking me that? I am, Mr. Fox. I'll tell you later. F4 to see the controls of the game and change them as you wish. Okay. Uh, yeah, th this entire game is going to be a retelling of the actions, quote unquote, as they happened. And yes, that guy will constantly poke holes in his story. In cell, I found myself in a prison yard surrounded by some buildings. There were piles of boxes and other stuff here and there. And the ground was plain dirt. Oh. And it was night. Okay, search for an exit. Yeah, this game is going to be a little bit like a terror bane. <laughs> as well, things will be added and worked on as they go. Though in this case, is more someone adjusting their story where need be. I thought it yeah. was sleep at night. That it was safe to escape. I was dead wrong. I noticed the presence of. Ooh. We get a selection. One guard on the night shift. Okay, if you're detected by the guard, he will grant no experience when you neutralize him. Okay. So we do get experience, but we need to not be detected. There we go. Yep. A ring. Okay. We got the XP. I think we stole the guy's wedding ring or something. <laughs> Chance of luck, you were a tough guy. Bless you. <laughs> really? <laughs> really, dude? What the heck? Ugh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, what the heck, Hillian? I know you're very polite, but why did you have to blow your cover like that? <laughs> Don't blame me, John. Blame Fox here. Be asleep at night. That it was safe to escape. I was dead wrong. I noticed okay. the presence of. Okay, what happens if we say two? two? Guards on the night shift. Okay, one there and one over there. Yeah, if you're detected. Okay, so we can make things easier or harder for ourselves. Oh, if we get close, we will... ...automatically take cover behind things. I had to heal that wound before I bled to death. But I had nothing to stop the bleeding. I had to find something. Okay, are we actually losing health? Uh, can I... Ring again. Wait, can we just no. break these boxes? Yes, we can. And yet, we are actually losing health and we are leaving a blood trail as well. And I think we're actually slowing down as well now. That box oh. contained some filthy cloth scraps. I made some handy bandages to prepare for when I would get wounded. Bad news. Dirty cloth rags don't heal you. They just stop the bleeding and I ain't got time to bleed. <laughs> Good news. I could reuse these rags as much as I wanted. Good dirty cloth is hard to come by. <laughs> Good dirt, dirty cloth, really? Uh... Oh, we need to hold it down. Okay. A good reason to not get hurt, huh? Yeah, am I going to guess that this is rather mm. very... Why did you keep uh... punching those crates? What did you expect to happen? <laughs> Nothing in particular. Then why this gratuitous violence? I don't know. I suppose I got lost in the moment. You know, for being imprisoned for a crime I didn't commit. And Pizza recognizes the game. <laughs> yeah, this game is basically... Uh, John's unlocked the great escape. <laughs> this game is basically a loving parody. And Okay, the blood stays. Okay, so punching big... Oops. Big boxes doesn't do anything. And those get moved around uh, if we punch them. And are we actually getting slowed down by the bloods? Hmm. Grab this one again. 
Okay, it's quickly passed by. Okay, handkerchief. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I don't think we'll want to use that. Uh, let's see, pizza. Oh, this game, I remember now. I didn't recognize it at first, but now I remember I saw this uh, one, some kind of list video, you know, with top time kind of things. Okay. Um. Uh, I need to pee. Oh, he turns his back. Really, him? Uh, another ring. Well, it makes for a good opportunity to take someone out. Really, just the toilet right here, dude. You use the toilet to save your game. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, from what I know, uh, this game, this game is going to be lots of fun because it'll constantly oop, take the piss with itself. Hello, you talking to me? Affirmative. My name is Colonel Alan Harris, Fifth Battalion. I'm Jesse Fox. Right. I'm not military, Colonel. Then tell me, Fox, what the hell are you doing here? I've been jailed for a crime I didn't commit. Do you know how to get out of here? Try to escape through any sewer. There must be one nearby, because it stinks when it's hot. Once outside, move along at nighttime and sleep during the day. What about you, Colonel? I've been tortured. My legs won't make it. But if you bring me a radio, I can help you escape. Hold on, Harris. Are you sure you heard him say Alan Harris? Yes, sir. Saw him yesterday. Look, Mr. Fox, Colonel Harris died a month ago in an ambush. Well, it's the name that stubborn old man gave me. I see. I'll write down on the report that you talked to Colonel Harris after his death. Continue your story. As I was saying, I searched for a radio to bring him. So dude could be bullshitting, or <laughs> the colonel might actually have been... Oops. I found my salvation. A sewer hole. There was no ladder, and I couldn't see the bottom. I needed to find a ladder or rope if I wanted to go down. And you could have used a rope from your hanging trick. Wait, I have an idea. We, 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 we use uh, Marco and Pizza Boy. But, yeah, this is going to be a very uh, unreliable narrator kind of game. I think things will actually even shape coin off the guard. Money? What'd you intend to spend it on? I suspect there's no shops open for an escapee on a midnight run. Who said anything about spending? I used it to distract soldiers. I quickly found out that guards love picking up free coins off the ground. Okay. Let's see. I <laughs> I feel like I did it again. Yep. Okay. Guess we could test the... Press X twice over a guard to carry him. Okay. Ah, because... Yeah. Press X. Oh, okay. We can attack around corners. Oh, he saw... Okay. Yep, another handkerchief. Hopefully less damp with mucus. Sergeants. Oh, hello. U uranium ball? Really? Don't think you'll want to carry that around. Well, it's... Uh, it is depleted... <sighs> Wait, uh, is ura depleted uranium dangerous? Uh, I think it is less radioactive, but partially still a bit, maybe. AKA, you should still not pick it up. At least not yeah. with the, without proper equipment. Yeah. Like, I know some weapons supposedly use depleted uranium shells. Are really... A one-eyed man's patch? A one-eyed man that would shoot me without hesitation. Because it was his job, what you did was macabre, and suggest you might have a fetish. <laughs> Holy 
Jesus. Well, that patch turned out to be handy to create a lethal weapon. We're going to make a slingshot, aren't we? Oh, he has more stuff. His glass eye. You removed his glass eye, too? Uh... Yes. I took it out of his eye socket to chill out. To chill out? Pulling out glass eyes relaxes you? I'm not a sadist. I didn't enjoy pulling it out, but it helped when I rolled it around in my mouth like candy. I was under a lot of pressure. Too much stress and I'd end up making a mistake. Okay, I'm pretty sure at some points the things that we can choose between can, well... <laughs> Cost us. Hey buddy, I have no paper. Can you bring me some? Uh. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was a bit uh, disgusted. Yes, pizza. Literally. What the fuck? What sort of paper is this? It's only one ply, unscented, and unpatterned. It's the kind the prisoners use. Fuck, that's why their hands stink so much. By the way, who are you? I don't recognize your voice. I'm Lieutenant Marcus Stevenson. Lieutenant, you say? Sir, I apologize for my manners. I did not know your rank, sir. Relax, and clean up your rear guard well. Sir, <laughs> yes, sir. Professional bullshitter. Holy... <laughs> And also unscented. Let's see. Da, da, da. Again, with pizza boy, you kind of sound like you almost threw up. Uh, well, I hope you are fine and stuff. I'm just in pain because my head feels like it wants to explode. Yeah, you may want to go rest, uh, pizza. Oh, at least take some painkillers. Uh, okay, I'm impressed by this game so far, but. Uh... Did okay, something that I noted there, that there was that red arrow moving along the edge of the screen. I thought it was maybe trying to find where the exit was, but no, it was showing us where the enemy actually was. Okay. Mm, cool. Uh, pizza, sleep for pizza has apparently been sleeping for 10 hours already. I ran into a guard <laughs> as I went in. Bastard saw me. I had to oh. knock him out before he killed me. Okay, that was choosing whether he was awake or not. He has a stick. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Just finding the most random shit. The lethal weapon you created with the patch was a slingshot? Sort of childish, don't you think? What were you gonna shoot? Pebbles? Depleted uranium balls. Three shots, and goodbye, guard. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Pizza, I've slept for ten hours already. I'm just waiting for my dinner. Uh, now Helian is calling me pizza board. Vakir, your behavior has wrapped up on Helian. <laughs> There's someone there. I, I, re I like that. Uh, even though in this case he didn't really he wasn't really in any place to actually be a threat, still probably better to make sure that we move somewhere when there isn't someone watching in that general direction. But yeah, I'm leaning towards saying yes with this game. I've been wanting to pull it put it on the side quests list for quite a while. I'd be open to say yes. Hmm. And I guess it's a short game? Reasonably, I believe. I've, I've of course not watched someone play it before. But I've only seen a part of it later on in the game, though not sure how far into the game. So, who, who just keeps... <laughs> no, we don't. With those first aid kits, I could disinfect and heal my wounds. Good news, those kits stopped any bleeding and also healed my wounds over time. Bad news, once you used them, they were gone. 
Okay, so I've got to be careful with these. Yep, hold down again. Okay, pizza. Plus, I really have nothing to do, so I'm just playing AC Rogue and just laughing my ass off at one of the features, I guess you could call it. Yeah, yeah I'm not planning on playing that game at any point in the future. Yeah, what feature are you talking about then? And that's level two. Yep. Level up. Let's see, Steel Fist. Your punches strike twice against enemies in containers. Uh, speed increases plus 10%, plus 35% if no enemies in the room. Let's actually go with this. Yep, hold down. Okay, that could be interesting. With what sort of stuff we may and may not get. Yeah, let's yeah. see. Uh, it's as do not play it, I would suggest you to not. Yeah. Like, the the main character is just an asshole. If he if he if he had just tried to talk things out at the very start of the game, the rest of the game would never have happened because it would have been made clear he, he could have made clear why the fuck he was so pissed off. But instead he just decides to instantly defect. Let's see. That's what are these rings for? There we go. Ooh, cigarettes. Okay. Uh, let's get back here a bit to the other guy that's awake. Giving him something would... Well... Let's see. If Russian, no filter. Okay. This might uh, keep him from, well, <laughs> chatting on us. Then again, they'll probably ask why. It, they'll probably ask why did <laughs> they have that. You bastard. Screw yourself in that cell. Okay. They might still tell on us, apparently. Let's see, anything this way? A door. There's enemies to the south. Hmm. What's in here? Oop. Hello. Hey, bro. Help me. Get me out of this hole. If you're in a cell, it's because you committed a crime. And I don't free criminals. But you're a prisoner, too. I've been in prison for a crime I didn't commit. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, come on, asshole. Okay. Hey, I'm also innocent. That's what they all say. That's what you Please say. Keep the key in that box. Uh, uh, that box. <laughs> uh, I get the feeling that if we open his cell. It'll, uh, he'll just attack us, so... Yep, really? No, he isn't used. Hold on, I'm opening it. Thanks, dude. Let me guess, wrong key? Yep. Oh, what a pity. The key broke. You bastard! Hasta la vista. <laughs> oh, well. Really? Yeah, our guy is not uh, a really nice guy. <laughs> That's pizza. Uh, well, there is uh, there are these special missions called Assassin Interception, and basically the assassin receives targets to kill, and they get these via pigeons. Basically, you have to catch these pigeons, stop the person from getting assassinated, and when you catch the pigeon, it looks like it has <laughs> seen some shit with how wide-eyed it looks like it has been traumatized. Okay. Oh dear. Hey Mike, can you tell them again? Of course. The uh -oh. the soldier. Someone sent you a blank letter. The soldier says it's from my wife, Sergeant. How do you know that, soldier? 
Because we argued and we don't talk to each other. Okay, now that's actually... <laughs> It's actually a captain, sir. I need to request leave for this weekend. Why do you need it, Private? I'm gonna have a baby, sir. Congratulations, request granted. Next week, the captain asks him, Private, was it a boy or a girl? And the soldier replies, I don't know, sir. I'll find out in nine months. Oh, Private. It's water, sir. Don't lie to me. This is wine. Praise the Lord. <laughs> okay uh, that was the timer going so we'll have to end it there uh, let's see pizza now i'm not talking about the story of the game because i do like its story it's us because you have to like spend 20 hours just to upgrade your ship enough so you can do missions otherwise it just uh, keeps on saying you should upgrade your ship more before starting this mission i'm just on the third fucking mission how much do you want me to upgrade <laughs> Okay, but I just really don't like the main character of Rogue. So yeah, if we ever do Assassin's Creed games, we are definitely skipping that one. Mm. Um, I'll uh, uh, stream the Assassin's Creed games for the hour. Long as heck! Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, Black Flag would definitely be on the list to do if we do the, the games at some points. Yeah, but let's not forget yeah. Ubisoft. Yeah. Um, yeah, I might selectively do some, but we'll just have to see. Maybe one Ezio's trilogy, then four, and maybe Odyssey or such. And yeah, the, some of the games can be really long, but it it also adds <laughs> it also adds so much time on if you do all the side stuff and such. Let's see, do Black Flag, it's fun. The older ones are not as long, the newer ones are pretty long. Yeah, the, the more RPG open world ones. I'm confused. <clears throat> what people hate the Black Flag? Uh, no, it's considered... <laughs> by most, it's considered the best of the series. I've been told the opposite! Okay. <laughs> well, anyways. Before we end the stream, let's go look for someone to raid. So let me remove the always on top. Change the screen share to Twitch. Uh, da, 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 there. Now, let's have a look. There's not too many people online, so let me read these out. We have Dr. Misunderstood with Bendy and the Ink Machine. We have Sour Walrus with Final Fantasy VII Remake. Moonrise with Jackbox. Grim the Wolf is just chatting. Lost stream before NFC. Not sure what that might be. Dynalope is playing Shadows of Doubt. Kiri Natsuyoko, no, Kiri Natsuyoko is playing Ocarina of Time. Then we have K9 with Helldivers 2. And last but not least, Horatius the Dwarf, who is just chatting. Chat the We Preserve Democracy. Okay. That doesn't tell us much about that, but oh well. Uh, any of those? Maybe any of the. Recommend it, and it seems Pizza has someone to re suggest. Dabbles, let's take a look at them. Uh, let me yep, double check that the place is muted. Okay, they are playing Persona 3 Reload. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. And Redacted Cat has just come online with Alundra. They've been really, <laughs> they've really been playing that a lot recently. That and Turok games, game, I think. Though. Let's see. Yeah, we yeah. need to suggest or rec any of the recommended, or shall I take a pick? Uh, we'll let you take a pick. I'm, I'm being a bit of a unsure what to pick at the moment. Let's see. I'd say K9, or mm, we've. Re We've seen Alundra quite a few times. I have not seen much of Helldivers myself. I've heard good about it. And apparently it and the Deep Rock Galactic uh, fan base are getting quite along. But yeah, from what I've heard, it is tough, but not unfair tough. Like that where one mistake will cost you the entire you know, playthrough or entire... One mistake won't get you completely killed like it would be in Dark Souls, but it is still a tough game. So you need to actually cooperate with people and such. So yeah, slash raid. And uh, yeah. 
Let's see, if nothing gets in the way, then in about uh, three hours and five minutes about, we'll be having another stream today. Most likely Slime Rancher 2, because yeah, like with Heart Space Shipbreaker, we've been, we've been bringing that one back and it deserves a few more episodes before we go 50-50 with that again. Though, yeah, with, with Slime Rancher, and it's more that we'll probably put a stop to it once we found pretty much all of the current content. As it is still an early access game, currently on version 0 0.4, I believe. Yeah, that's yeah, a pizza. And it's a... It is relaxing. Yeah. Uh, though at one point it would get uh, just. It would just start getting repetitive with just making money and trying to find certain slimes and such. But yeah. <clears throat> Uh, already then I'm gonna go since my dinner is finished and go oh rest fun chatting with you I hope to see you soon remember to say I'd rather than eating a healthy amount of pizzas good day uh, take care all again you guys have it better because you have to watch out for undead seagulls I gotta watch out for Mark <laughs> yeah well he'll stick you in he stick you in an oven <laughs> oh, uh, yeah before we start the raid of course thank you everyone is watching now or later thank you pizza thank you any lurkers uh, thank you noon thank you marco and yeah as always thank you rom in absence and you Dirk here you're welcome as always my friend and thank you all for watching here on twitch or on youtube yeah i'll need to remember to upload that slime rancher uh recording that i made as well and yeah between work and other things, I, I I think we should probably start to slow down a bit with the amount of streams we do, since I also have to, well, cut this. Most of them, no, not most, a good amount of them, I, I need to cut up into separate parts for the second YouTube channel at the moment, which takes about, well, about <laughs> doubles the amount of time I need to do editing and uh, the processing and such. <laughs> subscribe to see to helium for free pizza for me yeah so far i feel like we can use wednesday as one of those uh second free day but we can use it for if we need to do a catch-up stream but it should always probably remain free again yeah it won't be that i i'll cut everything up mostly the games we're just streaming for story uh i'm not i won't be doing it to the hard space and the uh, slime rancher ones because then I'd need to go back and cut up the old ones. But yeah. Hmm. So about four streams a day, four streams a week that need to be cut up twice. Uh, we'll see about things. Maybe on the weekends we'll go to one, uh, to one stream per day and just uh, go for longer or something. Yeah, I guess you have to see. For, I don't mind double streams. I kind of like it. But uh, hmm. I do understand that we need to be flexible in a sense with uh, your work hours and need to time to fix the videos as well, so... Yeah. Just that. And you can just ask it on the Discord, Pizza. But, yeah, for now, let's get that raid started. There we go, no block. <clears throat> and, yeah. Uh, like I said, in about three hours, second stream, if we can do it. And beyond that, we have our typical stuff in the next week. Uh, mainstream on Tuesday and Thursday, and more weekend shenanigans and some multiplayer stuff where possible. But yeah, for now, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe for a I watch out for undead seagulls. And uh, <laughs> lying infiltrators. That too. Ugh.